Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Like always, thank you so much for tuning in again. Today I have a video that was actually really requested and I was going crazy thinking why I haven't done this earlier because honestly, it's gonna be super helpful, super easy. This is basically just my routine. But anyways, this is basically my take on the no makeup makeup days. So this video is gonna be for those of you who go to school, who go to work, who are gonna go run errands and you don't wanna do a full face of makeup, this is it. This is gonna be super simple. It takes five to 10 minutes. So you're not gonna have to wake up two hours earlier than you would normally wake up to do a full face glam. Don't get me wrong, if you do a full face, more power to you. I actually admire you just because I like to sleep in. And so whatever saves me some time, I'm going to do. But this is basically the look that I do when I'm at school, when I'm at work, and I don't want to do like a full face lashes and extreme contouring and all of that eyeshadow stuff. This is what I do. This is where I live. This is me every day. And sometimes I'll even skip out on makeup because I feel like I should give my skin some time to breathe. Although where I'm a makeup artist, I love makeup, I love buying makeup, sometimes it's good to just let your skin repair and breathe and take care of it because we want good skin right so this is going to be something that i do on a day to day i hope that you find it helpful please let me know if you find it helpful if you liked it what's your everyday routine i would love to know what you guys do on the day-to-day -day basis for your makeup but anyways i hope you find this video helpful thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy this no makeup makeup routine Okay, so let's jump right into this. So I already primed my face. I moisturized my face. I think that's very important and I never skip that step regardless of what I'm doing because I want my skin to be hydrated and healthy, especially in the colder months where I'm actually having more dry patches. So I always make sure I do that. And honestly, I recommend the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a gel moisturizer it is so good and i swear by this i live by this i use this every single day morning and night but i already applied that in my primer and for primer i'm using my professional i already went ahead and did my brows because regardless of what i'm doing i always do my brows i feel like they give my face structure and it actually makes me look not like a zombie so anyways let's move on to the face just because the eyes are gonna be so simple, literally just mascara. So let's move on to the face. So for the face, I don't like going in with a full foundation just because I feel like I don't need it. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin. So I'm basically just concealing like little red marks that I have on the skin and things like under eye circles, basically. But if you feel like you need more of a full coverage, go ahead, put on some foundation, blend it out. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, I promise. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Shape Tape Concealer just because this is I guess everybody's favorite now, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it. I'm not gonna apply too much and I'm gonna apply it on the places where I need a little bit extra coverage. And I'm basically gonna go ahead and do that. Not too much, just because like I said, I don't really feel the need to wear too much on a day-to-day -day basis. And then with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to blend that out all over the face as if I was giving myself a very, very sheer coverage foundation. Okay, so that's basically it. It's very sheer, very light, and I'm gonna actually, whatever's left on the product, I'm gonna run on top of the eyes. I don't really do this because I do eyeshadow and I use eye primer, but I like to do this just to even out my complexion. And before I set my face, I'm actually gonna take my Tarte Better Days. This is a highlighter, highlighting moisturizer, and I got a mini one because I got it in a set. I got it in the Gym Bag Essentials, and honestly, you're not gonna need the full size of this because you're not gonna wanna put it all over your face unless you're going for that very dewy look. But I'd like to take a little bit of like, tiny amount of this, and I'm just gonna go ahead with my finger and apply it like if I were applying a cream highlighter. So I'm gonna apply it and blend it in to the places where I want a little bit of extra glow but I want it to look very lit from within. And as you can see, it looks like I already have highlighter on. So I actually really like this on the days where I'm not wearing makeup, just because it makes my skin look so healthy and young and just really plump. I actually really like that. And now to set my face, 
I've been obsessed with this powder. I use it every day. This is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and I use Golden Tan. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my whole face with this just because it's super sheer and it doesn't look super powdery at the end, so I really like that. And I'm going to go in my, my Morphe Y1 brush, and I'm going to just set it. I'm just going to dust this everywhere. Okay, and now for bronzer, I do like to do a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush just so I don't look dead. I like to bring a little bit of color to my skin. You don't have to do this. You could either just do bronzer or blush, or if you like to do both, do both. Go crazy, right? But it's still going to look very natural, and it's going to make your skin look very young. So that's what I like about it. And I'm just taking my Hoola bronzer, and I'm going to be using my Morphe R7 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to bronze my cheekbones very lightly. I'm actually not going to apply too much product at all. As you can see, I just want to give my face a little bit of structure. Now for blush, I'm taking the Papa Don't Peach Blush by Too Faced. I love this. I just think the color is super pretty. I really like this. It gives like a nice pinky vibe. So I really like that. I'm actually I love smelling it. it. smells so good. And I'm taking my Morphe E3 brush. I'm just putting it, concentrating it there and dragging it out. And this is just going to make your skin look very youthful, very, like if you were running in the cold and it looks very beautiful and healthy. Okay. And now for highlighter. So I like my highlight to look very lit with lit from within like I said so I like putting the moisturizer under it setting it with powder and then going on top with this essence of pure nude you don't have to use this highlighter you can use any highlighter that you feel like you absolutely love this is just the one that I like to use on the days where I'm not wearing much makeup and I'm just going to take my morphe e61 brush and I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the high points of my face Okay, and that's basically it. Just a very small amount, and the the moisturizer that we use, the Tarte one, is actually going to help that last longer. It's going to make it a little bit brighter, and it's just going to make everything mesh together very nicely. I actually already went and I curled my eyelashes before I started the video, and I'm going to be using my favorite mascara, and this is the Benefit Roller Lash. This is, I love this mascara. It keeps my eyelashes curled, it gives them length and volume, and I love it. So I'm actually going to just do a couple of coats, nothing crazy. I'm pretty sure all of you do this as well. And I'm just going to start from the base and wiggle the brush up. Okay, and now that that's done, I like to go on the bottom lashes and just give them a little bit of love too. And if you're like me and when you do mascara, you're kind of very sloppy with it, what I like to do is I like to grab a Q-tip and I just kind of like take it off. Mascara is one of those things that when it dries, it kind of just flakes off. So you don't really have to worry about it unless you have eyeshadow. Then that's a, that's a serious problem. But for looks like this, I don't really mind it. And to finish off this look, like I said, this look was going to be super easy. I like to go in with a gloss. I don't like wearing lipstick or liquid lipsticks or anything like that. So this one I've actually been loving. And this is the Tarte Lip Sculptor. Lip Sculptor. And so it has a lipstick on one end. And then it has a beautiful lip gloss on the other. And this is in the shade Kitten, which is a beautiful nude brown. And I actually love nude browns. It's what I prefer. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on.
And there you have it. Super quick, super simple, super fun, right? Nothing crazy. I'm pretty sure all of you do something like this, a variation of this, but this is just my take and I hope you found it simple. This is for those days, like I said, that you're in a rush, that you're running late, or you simply just aren't one of those people who do a full face of makeup. So I really hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.